Hi, welcome back after these two weeks of break. Um, we are back for another insider. Before I start my insider, I would like to acknowledge the passing of uh, Queen Elizabeth II and um, share my condolences to um, the royal family, to the British people and everyone in the Commonwealth. It was um, a wonderful life uh, of service to the Commonwealth and to the British people. And I think um, everyone agrees, no matter what uh, system you, you believe in or you defend, um, the work that Queen Elizabeth has done for 70 years is something um, remarkable and that should be, um, should be praised and should be remembered. Uh, she will be definitely missed. So this is my uh, little tribute to Queen Elizabeth and, um, and a way of showing my gratitude and my admiration for um, everything she has done. I think she was a wonderful person. So let's start our insider and this week and a little bit in the line of what um, I said last last week about um, about the changes in the channel. This week I, I'm talking about uh, exactly that. Is it okay to have a break when you have um, when you post content online? Um, how long should that break last? Um, how Mm, frequently you should post etc etc so let's address all these issues and um, and see exactly what is right what is wrong and obviously and once again I say this is my personal opinion um, and this is what I have been doing since I started these channels and since I started um, posting online which basically was since the beginning of my career I always had um, <clears throat> articles and all these sorts of content. So stick around, let's talk about these things. So let's start this insider and talk about um, posting content online, um, frequency, consistency, um, all these uh, sorts of things that I consider very important. First of all, let's start by um, acknowledging the importance of um, posting um, content online and having these, um, you know, your articles or videos, if you uh, like to do video, um, all these things, the, important of, the importance of this. Um, if you uh, really want to attract direct clients, either corporate or private, or private clients, Obviously, it is uh, very important that you publish content online because that's how you show yourself, is how you promote yourself, if you like, to your clients. Is how you're going to show them what you do, um, what, what you like, what your interests are. And of course, and I have already explained uh, here that, for example, um, for your clients, your content should be about them, about what they uh, are interested in. Um, so you should be focusing something like, for example, your fields of um, specialization, because of course it is the field where your clients are working with. If you post about translation, obviously you are not going to attract clients, you're going to attract colleagues because your clients are not interested in lessons about translation or anything regarding to translation. They may occasionally read or uh, be interested in something because, well, just caught their attention. But of course, it's not something that they are going to be interested in and they are going to be consuming. It's not a type of content they will be consuming every week, for example, uh, or, or even every month because they want to focus on things that are closer to them, that are related to what they do. And of course, your content should be um, catering for that. It is very important that you 
uh, separate this. You can talk about translation. That's what I'm doing with this channel. But you separate things. You have um, a channel that is just dedicated to translation and in this particular case to your colleagues and you have a channel for your clients and for your business. That's what I do. I have this channel uh, uh, linked to my uh, personal accounts and I've got the Flying Gadgets, which is the Updated Words channel um, that is linked to my business, to Updated Words and everything that I do re related to the business. So uh, it is important that you understand this and it's important that this is um, separated. So uh, first of all, you don't confuse the clients and that comes the consistency. If you have a channel like I did, I did this mistake. And when I started my YouTube channel, I had just one YouTube channel and I was talking about translation, big mistake. And then I was mixing up um, things. I could be talking about things related to translation and then um, things related to something else. And, and that's a kind of um, confusing because um, when your clients are, are, are going to see you on a channel or when your viewers are going to see you on a channel, they, um, they expect that channel to be uh, dedicated to a certain topic. And if you go off topic and if you keep on um, changing topics and going uh, all over the place and, and talking about different things, you are going to put away um, your audience because, you know, they won't be... Um, they will be confused. They will say, well, she was talking about planes last week and today she's talking about translation. What, what is this? You know, so you should keep it consistent. And that's another thing that I, I, I guess is very, very important that is that you keep con uh, consistency. Um, you choose a topic and that's your topic, of course. When you have a channel, for example, like this one dedicated to translation, it is a little bit more fluid because there's several aspects of translation that you can address. And this is um, a channel dedicated to translation for translators. And therefore, I talk about several aspects related to translation and it's a little bit more fluid. But when you are uh, talking about the content that you create, to attract your clients, then you have to be very specific and you have to cater for your clients. Therefore, you need to write either articles or videos or whatever type of content you like to create or podcasts. Some uh, may uh, like to create podcasts. They are very pop popular these days. And you should um, cater for your clients and keep Keep it consistent, keep it consistent rather. You choose a topic and that's, that's your topic. And then whatever uh, frequency you choose every week or every two weeks, it, you post always on that topic, always something related to that topic. In my particular case, aviation and tourism, either something about airlines or something about the aviation industry or tourism. It's always going to be something related to that industry because that's the industry that I work with. And that's something that I want to, uh, to showcase my clients that I'm really keen. I'm really interested in the industry. I really read about it and I know, um, I have a certain knowledge about it and, and I would like to showcase that. So um, that is that is very important, is that consistency. And then frequency, I think consistency is more important than frequency. Um, of course, frequency is important. Um, that is something, and especially now with, you know, the social media, especially um, platforms like YouTube, um, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn even, all these, these platforms, they work with algorithms. And if you keep on posting, it's quite likely that the algorithm is going to uh, pick up that frequency, is it, picking up that obviously you keep posting and you haven't abandoned the, the, the page or the channel or whatever you have. So that's important. 
you should keep a certain frequency. So you keep the algorithm picking up your content and picking up that you keep uh, actually publishing content. That's important. I'm not saying that frequency is not important. It is, and you should keep your content frequent. However, being consistent and being on topic, it is um, more important than that frequency because the algorithm is going to pick up not only that frequency, but also the topic. And if you go all over the place, even the algorithm sort of speak may get confused and, and it doesn't know where to show your content, you know, when, where to present your content because they don't pick up a certain topic. They don't pick up a specific thing that they see, okay, this channel, this video, this uh, uh, content is related to this topic. So let me present this topic to people that have claimed that they are interested in this subject. You know, this is something that is important. Um, consistency. And then of course, frequency, you need to be frequent. It is okay to take a break, such as what I'm doing now with the channels for, uh, and as I said last week, for uh, professional reasons, it is okay to take a break and to uh, have a period of time that you may not have that frequency that you regularly have. And we, and I, I see examples of YouTubers that have been in YouTube for a very long time and have uh, big channels with big audiences, um, sometimes taking a break and having a, a, a little, a longer period of time without posting. That's fine. You don't need to pu publish every week. You don't need to publish every day. But if you chose to, to, to do so, if you chose that that it is your frequency, then I believe you should keep it. However, it is fine to take a break for some reason. However, I think you should then explain to your audience such was I, what I did last week. I have to change the, the frequency of posting in the channels due to um, professional commitments. And therefore, I explain my audience, I explain to you that I, I will be doing this on a two week, two week break because of that. So the, the last, the first and last week of each month, um, I won't be publishing. And then the two middle weeks, there will be uh, videos. So this not, it's not in this particular case, it's not uh, more uh, about the, the algorithm because the algorithm does not recognize this. It's more about your audience. Your audience knows what's going on. And if they don't see a post from you, they will say, okay, there is no posts because she has explained that she's not going to post in the, in the next two weeks, but then in the following two weeks, she would be posting. And this is important, keeping your audience in sync with you, keeping your audience informed. So it's okay to take a break. It's okay to change things a bit if you need, because let's face it, it's time consuming. Keeping a channel like this one is very time consuming. It's a lot of work. And of course, sometimes we, um, we can't keep up with that frequency and we need to do some changes. However, if we actually explain those changes to our audience and we tell them why we're doing that, it is okay because the audience will be informed why this is happening. And in some ways you still keep your frequency and you still keep your consistency. You just change things a bit for a, a period of time and then you go back to your normal. I think that's the main thing. If you keep consistent, if you keep on topic and any time you need to do changes, let your audience know that those changes are going to take effect. So they know, so they understand why they happen and they don't walk away from your content. That's what I think it's the most important information and good communication flowing between you and your audience is the key to uh, actually keep that audience and keep things going. And that's all for today. I hope uh, you really liked this uh, insider and it really helped 
to um, understand uh, the dynamics of uh, publishing content and the importance of publishing content if you really want to attract direct clients and um, how you can do things, for example, if you want to take a break, um, how you can do things in a way that it's not going to affect your, your content, your audience, um, your performance, so to speak. So um, I hope you like it. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. I'll be very happy to answer you all. Or if you have any suggestions of um, things that um, you believe you may uh, may help with um, all of this uh, of taking breaks and and publishing content online etc etc please share as i said and i say many times it is all um it is very important to share knowledge because that's how we all grow so before i go i would like to thank you and please put a like in the video and Subscribe the channel with a little click on the bell so you get a notification of a new insider every week or every fortnight. And before I go, once again, thank you all for watching. See you next week. Yes, uh, I should I say see you in two weeks. There will be another two week break and then we will um, be back for another translation, translation insider so see you in two weeks have a good break and thank you so very much for watching bye